Howdy folks and welcome to this let's play of Civilization 6 which we're carrying on as playing the Roman Empire. From the first this episode number water, 4. <clears throat> to the great so whilst this is actually loading let's just pause the recording for just a second. Alright the reason why I wanted to basically just pause it because the loading takes a little while. I didn't want to waste your time with that. What did we do last time? Last time we basically founded our second city which was Seti. City, Seti. <laughs> Um, we started up a trade route with our Toronto uh, city-state next to us. Uh, we had defeated some um, uh, barbarian encampments first off on the west side here. And then on the southwest side there was another one. <clears throat> so those have all been taken care of at this point. We now are still facing some barbarians on the northwest side here. Where we also have the uh, Egyptians <clears throat> to the northwest of us. Um, I'm intending on building two extra cities really here. So uh, probably one either at this point here or slightly further inland. Um, but also one further to the east here. <coughs> um, I've encountered Hong Kong here. Um, I believe I still have... Is there a unit list somewhere? There must be. Um, no, I don't see any unit list here. Pity. I was kind of hoping to be able to have a, a full list of all my units <coughs> somewhere. Anyways, my turn is over. Next turn, barbarians are moving around. <coughs> I might maybe move my archers forward here. I think I've actually taken on those guys there. <clears throat> what are the upgrade options? Can I upgrade these to a legionnaire? Yes, I can. And I could do potentially do the same with... Ah, Spearman, I cannot upgrade. They're quite different, apparently. <clears throat> so, trade route is still ongoing, as you can see. <clears throat> I'm building a new settler down here in my capital, Rome. In Setia, I'm building a holy site at the moment. <coughs> and they're still trying to take down my legionnaires, which are actually nicely positioned in the forest over there. These spearmen, it might be useful for me to move these guys towards the front. <coughs> Wherever that front might be. Um, in the meantime, I can actually bombard these scouts here with my archers. <coughs> Damage them to some degree. I kind of thought I had automated these, but that, that's fine. There's no problem in that. Let's get these guys to the east. <coughs> it's my own scout here. I need more housing in Setia. Okay, so once that's completed the bit that we were doing there earlier, we can actually move on to the next item. Bravery <coughs> is being the only one. So we got our next civic that we basically just completed, it looks like. Um, I'm not going to change policies here, I think. Stratagos plus two general grid points. Oh, okay. <coughs> It does tell me to choose a civic. That's the next one to be focused in on. Games and recreation is a good one, I think. Perfect. <coughs> Spearman is still asking me to give an instructions just because I basically am in the same spot as where they are wanting to go to at the moment. <coughs> Again, my legionnaires are holding their own quite nicely there. And I've got a nice unit here. <coughs> Allow me to take out that horseman. So each of these little bits gives me some experience. Right here, I want to build myself a farm. 
system of lords and vassals is forming to manage all the farmland of your empire. <coughs> your progress toward feudalism has advanced considerably. Interesting. Okay, good. And my settler is ready. And the question now is where exactly do I want to position it? <coughs> Let's have a brief look at the city here. What's the maximum reach? <coughs> of my city so let's have a brief look so that's reach three one two three so if i were to purchase this one uh, let's maybe purchase this one here i can't purchase any further out than that so three is the maximum reach now i know i just wasted some money on that but uh, at least i got an understanding of the exact maximum range i could have for the city what do I want to build here? I probably want to get myself an extra legionnaire. <clears throat> Actually, maybe better yet. If I were to change this, can I build a encampment? I can. I probably will want to build the encampment. Probably on here. Because in itself, Tundra is not the most productive. <clears throat> Basically what a Tundra, or what the uh, encampment will do, it will help me build my individual units, etc. Okay. Ah, my settler. Yes. Now I probably want to take this guy here. Mm, maybe not. <clears throat> I was thinking that sending him along with them would actually be beneficial. Anyways, next turn. My settler is here on the east side. Okay, it's still not my turn, almost. Eureka! <clears throat> Work on a waterway home has taught your workers much about construction practices. Knowledge of construction has advanced considerably. Interesting. Always, always welcome, I would say. Alright, what's the next one I want to get in here? <clears throat> I want to get some more mercury, I guess. City needs food. Set the uh, <clears throat> consider focusing on food production. Well, okay, fine. You get your food eventually. This city has built itself a campus. Now I do want to build a library here now as well. <clears throat> Actually, maybe before I do that, let's build myself another builder. can always use builders. And they keep on attacking me. And I really, really need to get myself the extra legionnaire to be able to, of course, take on those guys there. Now there's one more build I can actually do with this. <clears throat> Question is, do I want to focus in on the Mercury? Yeah, I'll take the Mercury. And I suspect since I got two of them now, I might be able to might be able to trade it for something. I think I'm going to position it right over there. <clears throat> gives me access to the fish, gives me access to the sea. And it also actually is a quite nice peninsula here to be able to get access to other bits. <clears throat> so they're offering, or sorry, my offer is Mercury, and they want to get 
where they're offering in exchange some upfront gold, also gold per turn plus open borders. Yeah, I think I can do that. I accept the deal. <clears throat> so once we actually get more than one of each particular resource, they actually make it available for trade. Good. I like that feature. Without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. Research is being completed. Everything around <clears throat> you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Okay, it's fine. So, what's the next one we want to research? Maths. Choose research. What are we going to do next? Probably want to get myself a harbor. Increase the trade route capacity, which is good. I could also go for construction or engineering. Now let's choose celestial navigation here first. <clears throat> Good. Moving all my units upwards or forwards, whichever direction you would want to call it. <clears throat> and again, they keep on attacking, but in this instance, they're actually using their ranged units, which means that I won't be damaging them directly, which is to their benefit, I guess. That's the position I want to basically go into to be able to build that next city. <coughs> Which means I won't have any overlapping range issues there. The question is, can I actually use these archers here now? <coughs> Choose production. I was going to build the library last time, so I'm going to do that now. <coughs> And I'll be founding my next city here. <clears throat> and because it's within range of Rome in terms of trade range, it automatically gets that road here. It's one of the benefits of playing the Romans. <clears throat> I'm going to choose production here. I'm going to choose, in this instance, what am I going to choose? Good question. I think I'm going to go for the granary. <clears throat> Here is able to take on orders. I've got stone, I got stone, it's a bonus resource. I don't want to do anything with that at the moment. What I want to do is I want to take my builder there. Okay, I want to basically have the spearmen in front of my archers. At least still they can actually defend the archer properly. Okay. The question now is, what's the next move? Keep on repeating the same and the same and the same. But the key benefit for me is my the guy gains cannot experience. Find time for recreation, or sooner or later cool. to find time for illness. Entertainment complex. What is this? Okay, Colosseum. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna choose the next civic to go for. Alright, I can take military training, defensive tactics. Raids or vet veterancy. Uh, 
this will basically take us... I guess I'm going to go for the recorded history option here. I got two new city-state quests. So what are they? <clears throat> Alright, so... Hold on, I've got... Two envoys at my disposal. Sorry, I've got two envoys at my disposal. <coughs> that means one of my current cities here I can actually take to the next level. Production, production, culture, culture. Now let's actually take one in each of those. That actually gives me a cultural boost. <coughs> As per next turn, I guess. And what can I do here? Got another scout up, up there, basically doing the rounds. I will automate this one as well. But unfortunately that goes the wrong way. So I'm going to have to manually assign it new orders. <coughs> you have met in two new city-states. Fine, okay. <coughs> ah, actually, the Egyptians are attacking them. <coughs> Interesting. Okay, Sathya will have its holy site finished in two turns. <coughs> and once that's done, I should be able to focus a bit more on food production. Whales actually would be an interesting one, but can I actually do something with fishing here? Because at the moment, there is not much going on there. Choose production. <coughs> Let's build a little builder. <coughs> Three and one, and it's three and one as well. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take one of these four down. I actually think I'm gonna put it farm in. I guess. Is can I get there somehow? Set your course by the stars. All right, research being completed. Not by the luck. Can choose our next item of research. I can get the industrial zone with this. Do I want to get that? Probably not yet. I probably want to go for these military tactics first. Or construction. Let's go for construction first. Do you want to build a shrine or a temple? Oh, a shrine. <coughs> so I've got a new envoy at my disposal, and which one do I want to go for? I think Toronto. And this one I can actually use now to fire on these. <coughs> I must fire on the scout, just because the scout... Is the scout still alive? Nope. The scout is gone. This one actually going to affect the horsemen because they got an extra bonus against horsemen. So spears against horsemen is typically always a good choice. Unit needs orders. Okay. Hmm. 
Within a camp and now in place, we can formalize our military training. <coughs> Progress toward military training has been boosted, which is actually one of the, uh, what are they called again? The um, civics. All right, we have completed something here. <coughs> now, what do I want to build next? I was kind of thinking of doing the Oracle. Uh, gives additional faith, gives additional culture. Requires a lighthouse building first. is actually partially in the sea. I should say, really. We use now my legionnaires to actually attack them properly. <coughs> Good, so we took out their horsemen here. <coughs> we still got the horse archers there, but they're going to be my next target. Actual fact. I've chosen to build a harbor. Well, let's go for the harbor for one, one turn at least. I can remove the march. Marsh. The marsh at the moment gives me three food. Now I can actually go here and actually turn them into a little boat or whatever else it is. <coughs> and I basically get that luxury resource. Well, it's a bonus resource to be honest. fight them until they're healed. Again, I keep on getting up that warning for Sepia about the fact that they have got additional resources at their disposal. Okay. Fishing boat has been built. We also want to get one on the crab, I guess. Okay. Need of its orders. I'm going to skip this turn here. next turn again. Rumor has it that Egypt has founded a new religion, Protestantism. Ooh. Okay. We want to build something new. <coughs> Question is, what do I want to build new? Is it going to be maybe an entertainment or a theater square? Probably not. I probably want to build a settler. Again, these are hills. That's a recommended improvement. It's not the actual improvement that you have to put there. I can actually use my archer to soften them up. I 
where's the level of housing on here? So I got two out of three housing capacity. Good. <clears throat> Create with the heart. All right, we finished more research. Construction. Our next item of research will be apprenticeship, which actually gives us access to the new resources that we were looking to get. Or the not the resource, but the uh, what's it called? I cannot even build a farm here, even if I wanted to. Interesting. Can I do it over here, though? Let that try. Um, yeah, new, new sector. Perfect. So I'll legionnaire. I'm going to try to send them in now. <coughs> Legionnaire has defeated them. Great. slowly. Alright, so we need additional <coughs> housing. So in terms of our housing capacity, we are at 3 out of 3. Now we're going to choose production here. Let's say we are going to choose the granary. Okay, new unit needs, or additional unit needs orders here. I will fortify that one and I will move this one forward to take care of these scouts. So one, two, three, that's the reach I've got. One, two, three, so I could place my city there if I wanted to. There wouldn't work. Uh, actually, here would be great to be able to reach some of those other resources. One, two, three. Mm, maybe not that one. There then. Yeah. Alright, so I have now got a fourth city. Ooh. Bam, 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 bam. I've lived through some terrible things. Right, how do I prevent them from getting a extra city here. Okay. Pushing back that border. Defensive tactics. This unit needs orders here and not what I'm looking for. Unfortunately. Kind of doubting now whether I actually can give them additional food. Um, bum, 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 bum. There must be something else I can do. Well, let's go for the stone here. back and forth I might be able to block them select the trade route destination so I could keep on trading with Toronto or I can actually go for Hong Kong let's go for Hong Kong I guess what does that give me <clears throat> Hmm. 
Let's go for Hong Kong indeed, and we get our trade route. Perfect. Completing a trade route has created a trading post for you in the city of Toronto. complex and these say <coughs> send the trade route we have these orders and this one can actually build a quarry and I think at this point it is a great point in time for us to really call it a day so we're gonna save our way our game as being Trajan and then let's play number four Again, thanks for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed today's session and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.